Scottish gentleman Michael Caird as a very rare individual whose exterior belied his soul's immensity. I see in my mind's eye this selfless, unassuming individual walking on the streets of Shringeri barefooted, wearing a simple Kadi Veshti and a Kadi Jubba, with a smile which proclaimed his inner love for a tradition that is India. He was one of those India has inspired by its ancient wisdom, philosophies and spiritual questioning of the relationship between the Supreme and the individual. His love for Carnatic music as an elevating artistic expression of India's spiritual wealth was unassailable, not because he was a connoisseur, but because he was one who knew its essence with an intuition. First, it was surprising when he told me that his son Dvyanand should learn Sanskrit and do Sandhyavandanam and would not care whether he went to school or not. But later, when I came to know more about Michael, I could understand the genuineness of his statement. One day, I would unfold the mystery behind Michael's quest for Indian philosophies, spirituality, from the time he set foot in India in 1975. Today is his birth anniversary. Had he lived, he would have been 70. May his son Divyananda Khaed carry on his dreams and accomplish what he wished for him to become. This is quite new for me because I never come across this kind of teaching before. Only, you know, I suddenly jumped in and, you know, they straight away go to Geetam and uh, Varnam and Kirtanam. But this as sir was, uh, has been telling us for the past uh, five months, we are teaching the basics of basics, you know, basics of the basics, like that. So I think I'm uh, getting that here and, you know, I never knew, I, I thought I would at least sing uh, when I had come, but I was not, you know, matured uh, with my voice. Now I have improved a great deal and even as sir also says, and my power has come and, uh, and I'm now looking forward also for my uh, coming uh, future Veena classes and uh, I want to, you know, I can, I'm ready for uh, any, you know, tough doing, practicing, I'm ready for it now, I'm all, you know, set. And basically, after this course, I want to continue in Pradhbari for the next courses. At least I have, uh, you know, uh, planned it for the next 10 years, how I'm going to, you know, already planned. I already planned what I'm going to do here and what I want to, you know, teach. I want to also have some training from uh, Sir and uh, He's uh, such a great person, he teaches us shlokas and there's a lot of, some special energy as my mother also was saying when she came, entered this place, this has some kind of special energy and it is created by sun. So it's, uh, it's the greatest place I have found in my life. Shri Vartha Syama Yushyama Roho Gyama Vidhatu Pavamanam Mahiyate धनम धान्यम पशुम बहु पुत्र लाभम शतसं वत्सरं दीर्घमायु ऋणरोगादिदारिद्र्य पापक्षुदपमृत्यवह भयशोकमनस्तापा नश्यन्तु मम सर्वदा